Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of the Champion Tip of the Week. Comfort Zones. I'm sure by now you've all heard about the importance of moving through comfort zones in order to realize our dreams and get where we want to go. In fact, for decades, authors and coaches and experts have been talking about the importance of moving through our comfort zones. In fact, in my own life, I think about the times when I really had great successes and also had the greatest uh, feelings of satisfaction, and they were almost always preceded with me being able to move out of an area where I felt comfortable going into discomfort to get the results that I want. I also think that comfort zones, though, get a bad rap. I mean, after a long day of work, I want to come home and curl up with a book or turn on ESPN Sports Center or connect with a family or, or, uh, or friend. I'm in my comfort zone. It's just that we don't want to stay there. We don't want to pitch a tent or some of us have done is built a four bedroom home there. We want to be able to get out of that comfort zone. Now, one of the things that I find, not only in my own life, but in also in the clients that I serve, is many times when we make the decision to get out of a comfort zone, what we do is we commit to actions that are way beyond what we're normally doing. So for instance, let's say somebody wants to release weight and they've been living a pretty sedentary lifestyle. Well, what they might do is say, doggone it, I'm gonna lose all this weight and I'm gonna to go to the gym six days a week for two hours at a session. Well. You know what happens, it lasts for a couple of days and pretty soon the soreness uh, comes in from the lactic acid settling and they stop their momentum and they start to get down on themselves because they feel guilty for not uh, following through on their commitment and many times they actually increase weight because they go back to their old lifestyle. So what I want to do is I want to share with you something that I not only do in my own life but I also share with my clients that I call the 4% solution. And the 4% solution basically works like this. You made a decision to get out of your comfort zone. Rather than go to that far extreme, like our friend that I just shared, they went in what was called the panic zone. It's something that's so uncomfortable and so out of the ordinary that they just can't stay there for so long. Well, what you want to do is you want to go to what's called the stretch zone the stretch zone. And what that is, is just going a little bit above your comfort zone. And each day, what social scientists tell us is if we just step out of that by 4%, each day a 4% increase, what ends up happening is that stretch zone leads us to our highest expression of what we want to create. So where do you have an opportunity to move out of a comfort zone? And where have you maybe in the past moved to the panic zone? So I invite you this week to look at an area that you want to have a breakthrough in, moving out of a comfort zone and move to the stretch zone. Because when we do that, what we realize is when we execute small steps over time done consistently, it can lead to great results. So, this is Chris Natsky from Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching, once again with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week. And if you've gotten any examples of where you've done this in your own life, love to hear your responses and sure would ask that you uh, share this video if you got value from it as well. We'll see you next time.